How to avoid the three biggest mistakes about leaky gut. Welcome to Gut Feelings, the channel to help you heal your gut so you can enjoy an energized and joyful life. My name is Peggy Schirmer from PeggySchirmer.com and today's theme is how to avoid the three biggest mistakes about leaky gut. Let's get going with number one. The basic concept of leaky gut is related to intestinal permeability. Now that sounds like an interesting word. It basically says that in our intestines we have a net. Yeah, we have a net through which we normally absorb the nutrients and the minerals and the energy from the food and this net over time gets damaged and there are holes starting to form in this net. And the leaky gut syndrome theory says that through these holes that are in this net there are traveling proteins like gluten, bad bacteria but also food particles, undigested food particles. This is the basic misconception of leaky gut. There actually is a condition where this is true, where food particles and undigested foods, all kinds of bacteria are able to travel through this intestinal net. But in this case, this is an emergency. This can cause a sepsis in your body, which is a life-threatening situation, and you need to call 101. Yeah, you have high fever, you feel that there's something wrong. This is a completely different thing from what leaky gut syndrome is about, but this is the real leaky gut. Don't get me wrong, the symptoms that you experience that are linked to leaky gut syndrome, like brain fog, bloating, indigestion, candida, headaches, malabsorption, nutrient deficiency, all these things that are real. But the real cause, let's look into the real cause, which is misconception number two. The real cause for the leaky gut syndrome is actually not that food particle travel through this net, but a specific type of gas. This gas is highly toxic for your body. It's called ammonia and it's produced because food is actually rottening in your gut. This is not a natural situation. This shouldn't happen. Food should get processed easily through your gut and eliminated within six, sometimes 12 hours, but not longer. Now, why is this happening? Why is this food rottening happening? It's because two of the organs that are responsible for digestions are impaired, are damaged. It's related to your liver and to your stomach two organs that are very vital in your digestion. The stomach produces naturally HCL, this is stomach acid, which helps to pre-digest the foods before they come into the small intestine. The problem with HCL is that most of us are actually low in HCL, in good stomach acid. The second reason for the symptoms that we experience for leaky gut is your liver. Most of our livers are overburdened and one of the main important things that your liver does is it produces bile. Bile is necessary for breaking down foods, especially fats. And these two organs, your stomach, your low stomach acid and your liver, your overburdened liver, which has an impaired production of bile, doesn't produce enough bile to dissolve the fats. These two are the main reason for this rottening process which happens in the gut, which we still call leaky gut. A better name would be ammonia permeability. This gas travels through the your intestinal lining. It's like a ghost. Yeah, A gas is different from a food particle or a protein like gluten. And this can travel throughout your whole body. It's highly toxic and can cause nervous system problems, digestive problems, all sorts, constipation, diarrhea. It weakens your immune system. You have less energy. You don't sleep well migraines, headaches, memory problems, there are just so many causes and this is because this gas can travel everywhere in your body. Yeah, it's like a ghost really floats there. So if you think about leaky gut syndrome, think about ammonia permeability. Maybe you remember last time you were in a pigsty. This stinging smell there, if you walk through the pigsty, this is ammonia and this is actually something you have in your body due to the rottening food stomach acid. Now, misconception number three, one of the main recommendations for healing leaky gut, you might have heard that, is bone broth. This is a soup made out of ligaments from chickens, for example, and cooked very long. Now, here's the problem with bone broth. It's high in fat. Why is that a problem? Because we have three nutrient groups. We have carbohydrates, we have proteins, and we have fats. And fats are the ones that 
take the longest for the digestive system to be absorbed and also take the most work. We talked about in misconception number two about the overburdened liver and your low stomach acid, which both have problems to break down the fats well enough. So bone broth is not only high in proteins, but it's also high in fat. A way better solution for healing ammonia permeability, aka leaky gut syndrome, would be to consume celery juice on an empty stomach in the morning. Celery juice is high in minerals, it's very low in fat and low in protein, and it helps to build up your HCL, your good stomach acid, and it helps to detoxify your overburdened liver, so you increase your bile production through helping the liver to heal. Celery juice is also rich in vitamins A, C and K, it has a lot of sodium, it has calcium, it has all the minerals you need. And furthermore, it has digestive enzymes yeah, that help your digestive system to relax more and to break down these foods that you eat easier throughout the day when you do it in the morning. This leads to less rottening in your gut, less food rottening, leads to less ammonia gas, leads to less symptoms, brain fog, etc. Yeah, you see there's a cycle there. My recommendation for if you want to heal leaky gut syndrome, what actually is an ammonia permeability, consume every day, every morning for one week, raw celery juice. 300 to 500 milliliters, this is 10 to 16 ounces, and you're gonna see improvements with your leaky gut. I hope this video helped you understanding more about leaky gut. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. And I have one question for you. What are the symptoms that you thought is leaky gut and that you're suffering with? Let me know in the comments below. Have a lovely day. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.